getters and setters let you change or access the values you have inside your class. So what I'm going to do is turn these from public to private. And what we're going to do for each one of these, we're going to have a get and a set. So we got public int get x. And that's just going to return this dot x. So it's going to get the x. And then to set the x is very similar. And I'm going to make it a void because I'm going to receive a value. I'm not going to send one back. And because I'm going to receive a value, I'm going to call it new x. This dot x equals new x. Uh, here is where you could protect uh, this if you need to. For example, if new x uh, less than zero, well, let's just say if it's greater than zero. Well, it won't do anything if it's less than zero. Not the greatest way to write an if-else statement. Uh, so if x is negative, don't do anything else set the x equal to new x. Maybe I could do this dot x equals zero. How about that? If you give me a negative new x, I just set it equal to zero. Do the same thing for y. I'm going to duplicate, control shift down. Get y, set y. Of course, you better return y. Uh, makes sense to call this uh, new y. So I'm going to do control r to rename. New y, change it all at the same time. There we go. So I got get x, set x, get y, set y. So what do these look like? Let's not do any drawing. We'll go, uh, oh, I just realized something fantastic. All right, let's run that. All right. Print always calls the uh, two string. I think that's probably the next section in here. Yep, there we go. So we're gonna write our own uh, two string. So two string better return a string. Doesn't take any parameters because it's operating on this object. I'm going to call it string result equals. So we'll do this dot x and let's go put a parentheses plus this x plus comma. Put a plus between all of these. This dot y plus, and we've done something very similar to this before. So this will create a string right here that's going to make it look like a point. And return result. You can do this all on one line. If you want to just return this right here, that would be fine. Then we're going to go back here and I'm going to hit F6 again. And now when I call the print, the print automatically calls to string and it prints out the XY value. Okay, so now we can print it out. And I don't really, at this very second, I don't want to create a drawing panel. So let's go ahead, we'll print the t, then we'll do t dot set x parentheses uh, 10. And then we'll print t again. So it should change the x value to 10. And then we'll see if it does. So there we go. We see the 300, 200. And then the next line down, it's changing that 300 to a 10. That's how to use the get. Uh, you can also use, uh, that's how to use the set if you want to use the get. Uh, I could do t, now I can't do t.x, it's going to complain. Somewhere in here, come on, error message. X says private access in things. So you cannot directly get the x value that way, but you can get the x value that way. And then we just see only the x value printed out there. That's how you can get the X. Oh, I 
did the wrong syntax here. So I want to set the value with the original value and then 10 more. And I'll just print out t this time. So here I use the get to retrieve the original value and a set to set it. And so I took the original value, added 10, and you see that 310 right there. All right, so we covered our two string method.